Hello everybody, you remember this thing don't you? I've had it a couple of videos the last few days about the noise from it. Well I thought I'd give them a fair shout because I bought this about nine months ago and you can see on the back here it says uh, 2019, 2019. Well I went to Amazon and got a brand new one with a uh, UK plug on. So give them the best shout ever in terms of, or the best chance ever, should I say, of uh, coming out of this with their hands held high. I ordered one, just so we can see what they're actually supplying at the moment, so there can be no dispute about this disastrous product. I suppose we could have a quick shot at the, at the instructions as well, couldn't we, while we're at it. So I bought a blue one, which was a nice change. Um, Basically, looks like exactly the same thing, doesn't it? I don't think there's much difference to this at all, actually, but we'll find out when we benefit the doubt and all that. Before we fire it up, let's just open it up and see whether it's the same disastrous uh, EMC arrangements that they had last time on the previous one. Clips are identical. Hey, we've got an instruction booklet in this one. Uh, any changes, any differences? Yeah, look at that. They've done a different layout. They've instead, this button's in the same place and they've put a frame around it. They've moved these up to the top. Um, were there indicators? And then the indicators are still down there the same, so it's a badged version of the same thing or an exact copy. Difficult to say, isn't it? Let's have a look inside so we can work that out. Just for the sheer hell of it. See what they've done to it. over there that's one it's always a bit of a struggle getting her boots off she's a bit of brute force and persuasion Right, there we are. Hold her down on the operating table and all shall be revealed. I have no idea whether this is going to... I had a, a, a message from somebody in Norway. <laughs> it didn't work out with that. I watched a Norwegian video on this and it's quite funny, but uh, I have no idea what he was saying. But I think he said that some have got the uh, EMC components and some haven't got the EMC components. Um, I don't know why. I just think that Norway might take it much more seriously than we do over, the, over in the UK. You can send any old crap over here, whether it's a, a remote control kid's car that doesn't obey any of the, uh, the regulations or not. In terms of frequencies and bandwidths and wave bands, I don't know. 24 volts for all those people who've got 24 battery chargers. 20 volt. Fox Shore. Pulse repair battery charger, different manufacturer claim, but obviously clear the same thing. So let's open her up. Does that come off? Yeah, there we go. Oh, it looks different. Oh, it looks different. Place your bets. What do you reckon this is going to be? Horrific or otherwise? Okay. So we've got mixed bag here. Let's turn it around so it's the same way as the other one. All right. Okay. So, yeah. No filtering on the secondary side, so it's still not CE approved. I do not believe this would ever be CE approved, could ever be CE approved without any filtering on the secondary side. You saw all the filtering on the uh, Bose power supply. Well, this hasn't got any, but they've got a choke in there, look. Similar to the one I put in. They've got a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. They've still got the uh, DVR. They've, still, they've got neutral and live on this one wide around the right way. Um, fuse is the same. You can see down here there's no varistor, so there's no input protection. And the class Y bridging capacitor between the live and 
live side and um, DC side is not is missing, so the secondary side would be noisier. So it's an intermediate halfway house. Still not CE approved, but probably an awful lot better than than the um, the one we just looked at. So that was bought of Amazon. And for those of you that are interested in the instruction booklet, I'm just going to put it down here. If you're thinking about buying one of these, and then you can just have a look, can't you? Use the old free phrase, freeze frame. Use the old freeze frame, boys. Okay, you ready? Oh, where is German now? Yes, yeah, so all this is just foreign gobbledygook of strange people that can't be bothered to learn English, frankly. Um, you know who you are, or do you? Anyway, so Smart Automatic. And it doesn't tell you a lot, does it really? Well, it's not surprising because. No, well there it is anyway. Anyway, so I thought you might be interested to see that. So the one that's on sale in the UK now has got some of the components to make it a lot more user friendly but not any filtering on the DC side and still some components missing on the high voltage side. So uh, yeah, if you like that then uh, leave me a like down there and subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you're thinking of getting one of these, look at the other videos where we reviewed it. It was an okay thing but not very accurate on the voltage and you really want, wouldn't want to use it for maintenance charging but it does kick in on low battery voltage and pump some current in and get you going so there you go anyway that's it i've done with this battery charger i've never want to see another one of these again so anyway take care and i'm um, signing off <laughs>